What's up guys, we back with another one. Uh, so this was the gasket I talked about. Amazon Prime, man. I'm gonna do an oil change. Uh, put like a half a tank of gas. I have my interior guy coming to clean this on Sunday. Yeah, like I said this was the old gasket. This is the new side pieces was gone. But um, let's get this thing back together. Get my gloves on. Uh, then I'm gonna go get some oil. Eventually, yeah. Come down real quick. Come up. Man, it's it started pouring down, man. I'm pretty. It started. It started pouring down. The camera got a little damp. Probably looking a little blurry in the in the video, but uh, yeah. So too much. So much for putting the carb on. Uh, the, the gasket on. So I just finished the tent, and that was it. But it's a bird. Bro, it's a bird in it. It's a bird in it. I don't know how I'm about to get that bird out. We're trying to jump on. Hey, get out! But, uh, I'm gonna go on here and jump on the box here to get this. Alright, guys, we are back on the Cadillac, lack, lack, lack. Cadillac, lack, lack, lack. Too early for the hook. Only certain people would know what I'm saying. But uh, like I said, we fish bowling. Uh, yeah, I took the tin off, man. It was purple, so it was just a waste. I gotta find a way to get this back. The goo off easy because uh, the interior cleaning guy is coming tomorrow. So I'm just trying to get everything done for this today. So I'm about to change the oil, get all the big trash out, and then uh, do the plate finally. And then I'll be driving it around. But uh, I got some high mileage oil, 10 W30. What the 307 take? 10 W30. I'm gonna drain this, put a new oil and filter on there. That should help it run a little bit better too. Clean it up sometime tomorrow <clears throat> after he get done with the interior. But uh, today my focus is gonna be in here, which is gonna be another video. But yeah. Back on the Cadillac lap. All right, we back on the Cadillac. It's getting cleaned up. Cleaned up, cleaned up. All the parts for the box set. Gonna get, get ready to come clean up some of this mess in a second. How's it coming out? Oh, it's, it's coming out pretty good. I don't see him doing this thing. I'm just gonna wipe these seats down. I'm just doing some... my pre-treatments right now for the carpet. All right, it still look better than before. Come back when he's done. But yeah, we fish bowling, man. Come clean this tent up. In a second. What's up, ladies and gentlemen? SCS. It's the nighttime footage back on this here Cadillac. So what I need to do is, I'm probably plan. I'm planning on giving this car like two more nights, man. Two more nights, or two more days total. So this is one, and then I'm gonna do one more. So I'm trying to. Uh, it's the exhaust leak. Trying to fix that. Like I said before, it overheated at a point, but it has a new radiator and a new thermostat, fan clutch, hoses, all that stuff. But whoever put this cooling in here, they put water. So I'm gonna flush that one day, not today. So tonight I'm gonna do this uh, carb gasket, which I totally forgot. I showed the car today and it was a bowl of gas in the intake area. So I'm gonna fix that, put the air cleaner back on, and then it's some overspray all around the trim on this car. Show y'all. Some there, right here, some right there. Big blotch down there. Uh, 
Uh, I recently just seen some body work issues right here. Did it in the door. So whoever did that, shame on them because they painted over that. It's not bubbling or nothing. That sucks. So I'm gonna come down on the price a little bit, but uh, find out the AC do work. The blower motor don't. It's just all right with this car. All right with this car, it's just a bunch of little stuff that add up on time and i can't keep giving this time with the same price it's just not a smart move so i'm gonna try to my my best 100 to get it running good i think that the alternator is bad i'm gonna test it right now for y'all um when i showed it as soon as i jumped on the highway uh the battery light came on it was saying no oil pressure the old school car, as soon as you turn, well, really all cars, as soon as you turn the key to on, all the lights come on. And it's like it's not on with the power. It knows 12 volts and it knows 14 volts. So I'm thinking when I start this car and the battery light is on, it's going to be 12 volts. So I got a battery meter, a volt, uh, I mean a battery tester. Nice Harbor Freight tester. Show y'all this real quick. So it tell you if the battery bad, weak, cranking amps on your battery, and then if your car is running, it'll tell you if the charging system is okay. This thing was about 40 bucks, haven't failed me yet. I've been using it for a few years now. Phone blowing up. But uh let me go ahead and put that gasket on, test the battery. Hopefully. I ain't no hopefully. I'm pretty sure the alternator bad. But uh, I'm talking too much. Let me go on here and work. It's kind of way better, way less shakier now that that gas is on there. But uh, I feel like it could use some plugs and wire for sure. Which uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to get to. Depends on how long I have it. But like I said, I ain't trying to put too much time into it. Let's see. Yep, alternator bag. Dang. So, that's something I gotta go ahead and look at replacing. But yeah, definitely stuff like that, man. You can order online. That way you don't eat into your profit. But, uh, I'm pretty much sure I'm just gonna break even on this car. And then that'll be that. Worst case scenario, I can take the tires put them for sale and then put some regular tires on here that way it can sell fast but uh i ain't in no rush really so next series of this i'm getting an alternator put on and i'm checking out that exhaust leak y'all probably can hear the tap all right man so this is it for the series so we see that it need an alternator um possibly diagnosing the blower motor because the AC does work, the clutch engages and everything. Radiator flush. Most of the radiator system, the cooling system is new. Uh, I showed y'all that in the previous series. Uh, wipe that overspray. And then, uh, I mean, pretty much, man, I ain't trying to go and make this a brand new car because it got a cap on t on what what is worth to some people. Some people say it's worth what I'm asking, and some people say it ain't. Worst case scenario, man, I can take the tires off, sell them by themselves, put some regular black tires on here, and then this will be a two thousand dollar car, and I won't have to ask three thousand. But uh, I feel like it worth it, man. That's just me. But uh, that's enough of that. Enough of that talking. I'm about to go on ahead and push this baby back out, and look online for that alternator, and then. Once I come back for this series with this car, we'll be getting a bunch of little stuff done. Quick, 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 quick. I am burning so many mosquitoes. This is crazy. All right, man. But SES, sit for this part of the series with this car. I'm out.